Hey folks, it's the old hippie here again. Going to teach you a little something here. It's just a five back to a one, a little walk thing. Um, and it goes from an A chord back to a D. So you're in D, you're on the A, you don't want to wait to get back to the D easy and a cool little uh, chicken picking type of thing. And it goes something like this. Okay, so that's how it kind of goes. Um, the more you practice on it, the faster you can play it. Okay, so I'm going to sit down and show you how to play that. It's very groovy. It's a string skipping thing. And that's about it. So I'll uh, see you on the stool, I hope. All right. Perky trails. See you there. Okay, folks, thanks for sticking around with me. Okay, of course, I always tell you what guitar I'm using in each video. Um, this is the Reverend Jetstream 390. Uh, 390 means it has three P90s in it. Okay, this one's actually uh, made of mahogany. They do um, everything. Every guitar they make is made out of Karina these days. I bought this one because it was old and pre-Karina. Do they sound different? No, of course not. Um, what's very cool about uh, Reverend guitars, I love everything that has the three P90s because of this bass contour knob in the back. It actually takes all your P90s and when you roll it off, they sound like typical single coils. So in this case, just like a strap. Okay, it honestly does. So it takes, um, let's like go to the, I don't know, the four position and uh, go to the P90 sounds. That's what this rolled all the way up in its normal like 10 position. Very P90-ish. Roll that back for your strat sounds. So you can see the difference between the way these are revoiced. Very cool axe. Um, I'm going to leave it in single coil position because I'm going to be using the telly sound. Okay, so the way this lick goes um, is like this. Okay, if you've already got it, hey, cruise on. Um, the big deal about this is the muted notes, which gives this the uh, chicken picking sound. Um, and that's what all chicken picking stuff is. You have muted notes, and then that one. <laughs> so. Okay, so we're just starting out of the A, so we're going to play everything on the D string and the B string. So we've got a chromatic walk from 9, 10, 11 on the D, but they're all muted. Okay, using that hand down here, your muting hand. <laughs> I know some of you are left-handed, so I don't say you're right or left hand. Okay, so your picking hand are muted. Okay, now we're going up to the 10th fret to grab the A note on the B string. Now the picking thing is down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Okay, so you got down, up, down on the D string every single time and up on the B string every single time. Take everything, move it down a whole step, meaning two frets. So we're on um, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you're going to the eighth fret there on the B string. Where it changes that is easy. Um, we're going to five, six, seven on the D. You just flatten out your ring finger. Same thing, a whole step more this way, uh, three, four, five, and then five. And finally, we're just going to the D, okay, which is two, three, four, and then middle finger, third fret on the B string. Okay, so that's it. Again, nine, 10, 11 on the D. Middle finger reaches down there and grabs the 10th fret. 
Okay, just move it down a whole step. Down a whole step. Flattening out the finger there, your ring finger. Right, then finally to the D. And that's the whole thing. It's just a matter of how fast you play it. Okay, some songs are faster than others, so you'd play it fast and slow. So work on uh, getting that one up to speed. It's just very cool. <laughs> Yeah, it belongs in a song like that. Just was playing in D earlier. <laughs> um, I actually got this one uh, just as a basic extension off of the old lick that goes like this. In case you haven't got this lick yet, you can just see it. Um, it's almost exactly the same except for it's phrased differently and walks around differently. So it's a different thing, but it's exactly the same, which is... <laughs> Okay, so you can see how that comes from there. Okay, so it's just a matter of getting that part of your hand, the meat of your pinky side, uh, to actually get those muting things happening. And getting... Some good speed going back and forth there while you're resting your hand on the bridge, as long as you don't have a floating tram. Mine happens to be uh, screwed all the way down. Pretty groovy. Okay, so hope you found that useful. Maybe the other lick. Um, uh, useful as well. You guys stay groovy. I already am. I'll stay a hippie just as well. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later on.